The world is in utter turmoil with this, that, and the other thing going on in the world that I would quite clearly declare our timeline to be insane. Red cows, life in the Dead Sea, three strange biblical events spark end of the world speculations. Oh, uh, this isn't what you like to see, guys. Well, look, it's a shame that uh, this has had to happen. It's been a spectacular game from all of the players here this afternoon. Yeah, this isn't what you like to see. If I survive the bear attack, I won't have to see the bear at family reunions. The worst thing the bear can do is kill me. The bear sees me as a human being. Sorry. That last one got me. <laughs> the bear sees you as a human being. No, it sees you as a snack. Today I'm out here and I'm asking, is f***ism still relevant in today's society? Yeah, absolutely. If anything, it's more relevant now than it ever was. Yeah, I would say f is still relevant today. You know, we built this country, men, but women at the same time gotta supply more men, right? With no women, the world doesn't go around. Uh, it is, but I think it's changed a lot. Fem started out as women's rights, and now it has skewed into something entirely different than what it was. Are we going too far? Did we do this and all the rest of that? Instead of being angry. Now it's morphed into something that's more preaching like a, a superiority over men kind of stance. Like I work with some people who would consider themselves heavy feminists and they are constantly dogging on men and they openly say, I hate men. I would say that as long as men are alive, feminism is always going to be relevant. Why? Because men. Cis, heterosexual men, absolutely, especially white men. Weren't you just talking about equality? Oh, absolutely. But we have to have that viewpoint because of how much we've been attacked just by that gender. But you just said that all straight men are trash. Like, that's a pretty big generalization, don't you think? It definitely is. It's not necessarily something I'm going to, like, saying via statistics. I'm saying via experience. But we do have this story as well. From SDNR, Russia launches tactical nuclear drills near Ukraine. Analysts say the exercises are meant to send a clear message to the West. You don't know the law. Yeah, there's laws. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. Our cameras capturing that standoff between an accused squatter and a homeowner last month. The video went viral. It even caught the attention of the Queens District Attorney who decided to take legal action. Fellow man and woman could be no further apart at this rate. Generation Z is perceived as being so lackluster in critical thinking that our entire generation is seen as nothing good but for hookup culture. And just as an inside look, because I am Gen Z, I can't say that I totally disagree, because for the most part, our generation is nothing like any other generation. And the label just agrees with that wholeheartedly. I mean, just look at how our generation acts during a charity game of soccer. They storm the players with no care for the game that was in progress. And then on top of this, everyone is being pushed closer and closer into a battlefield. The future looks bleak with all this going on. Let us be honest with that. But then on top of that insanity, there is always an action done in response to that type of insanity. Woman versus tree, some guys are saying woman versus brick wall, is the male response to man versus bear. <laughs> we'll turn the volume down a little bit. I don't man, pick or differentiate. The, the point anything. is, like, no, the reason why the man is surprised is because the man needs to be superior to the woman for the woman to be interested in him. With hyperbolic womanism came an equal and opposite reaction with the red pill. With the insane take of man versus a fridging bear came an equally dumb take of woman versus tree. And with the first extremists came actions from an equally opposing force. But, as nature does, the pendulum swings again as a reaction to the opposition from the first movement comes back into swing. Nothing significant ever came about through indifference. The pendulum is ever swinging, and we need individuals who push for progress. So first of all, these are not comparable situations. The risk of harm and the severity of harm are not in the same ballpark. This is potential trauma for life or getting ripped apart and eaten alive and this is getting your feelings hurt or being manipulated come on second of all there's no reason to retaliate like this was an annoying situation listening to thousands of women say that all men are just waiting for the opportunity to hurt them it's annoying but you don't retaliate by coming up with your own situation you just show women 
saying that they think this is the safer option. It's loopy. You know, Vance always said this, you know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah. Uh, they thought it was capping, man. Yeah. They thought it was a joke. And, and, you know, we did, we made moves on the side knowing that this could potentially happen. And guys, we, we, the channel has been kicked off the YouTube partner program. The red pill is in shambles due to the fact that extremists are not exactly known for being smart. And the people who created the woman versus trees scenario got called stupid right off the bat for creating a foolish take after looking at another foolish take just to be a part of the contrarian tribe of Earth. It is just insanity compounded on top of insanity and all it creates is a deeper wedge into disparity between everyone and their mothers. So what do we need then? More insanity to combat the insanity that's just been compounded? No. Obviously. What I would say is that we should go outside and touch grass for at least five minutes a day, but that advice has been here for well over a minute, and all that has happened since then is nothing positive. I'm sure it may have been positive somewhere, but for the grand total of our world still being kind of fridged, I think we need to go back to the drawing board. So what do I say? Well, I think something missing in today is a community of like-minded people. And no, this is not the Red Pill version 2 or Womanism version 2 or anything like that. What I'm talking about is a community for people of all walks of life to be able to come to in search of a sense for belonging. But I already hear you. How could we find a place for everyone of every walk of life to be like-minded? Well, thank you for asking first and foremost, because I know, in a place of insanity on every other corner, how could common ground from everyone ever be achieved, right? That, in and of itself, sounds insane, but let me monologue real quick. While I am not entirely sure if this is my purpose in life, or if I'm even the right person for this adventure, I also realize that it is either now or never, and something I want for myself is to one day have children, and with the world as it currently is, I couldn't even imagine those kids living a happy life, and so, as it currently looks, I don't want to have kids, because I don't want to have kids who will probably just off themselves in this current dynamic of life. It is a harsh world, made even worse with instability everywhere to where the ground that is stood on even becomes shaky at the best of times. You have a laugh and then immediately start thinking about the time after the comedy club. Now, in the next video, I will be covering the traits of people within our community that I hope to build. And if you are interested in being a part of a place where you can feel belonging, to, then I encourage you to stick around and watch that video to learn of the materials that will make up our community, and will hopefully also be materials that will soon make up whoever you are. And I will reiterate something that I did and did not say, that this community is a place that is open to everyone, young, old, manosphere, womanist, man, woman, religious, and non-religious. I don't really care how you identify as, because either way, you are accepted to join in this growing community of like-minded people. This community that we will build is not a place for hate or pedestalizing, because neither of those actions create positive growth in society. All they do is create division, and that is not what our community is about. But, oh, what is this community about, I hear you ask? Well, once again, thank you for being curious, though to answer. And, yeah, to a degree, I took this from Joey Swole, but I overall like the message and I want to take it much further than just within the gym. But without further ado, this community is about being better. And what does that mean, I hear you ask? Because there is a whole bunch of things that that could mean. Well, that means taking time out of your day, every day, to be better than you were yesterday. The action of being better doesn't have to be instant, but rather it can be gradual if you need it to be taken at that pace. And the reason for being better is so that, now, let me use myself as an example. 
by me being better every day along with everyone else who joins the bandwagon, there will probably be a time and place where me having a child actually seems doable in our lifetime. But it doesn't just stop there, because after the next generation has been created, I, as the leader of our community, will not have my child become who I used to be because of my father. I will be a better father. I will be a father who has the strength to say clean the dishes without having to use force. That future child of mine will be obedient, not because they were forced to be so, but because that child will learn that what I say goes because I know better. And I, as being that future, better father, will raise my child to meet me on level footing so that they can become better than myself, because that is the end goal of our community. Be better today so that those after us can be better than yesterday. And that statement doesn't have to be about you having kids. Whether it is your youth being better than yesterday or yourself, either way it still fits under that goal of being better than yesterday. Now, I just have to let you know that being better is just what the community is about. But what makes this community have common ground, like I said it would at the beginning, well, that common ground falls onto our community's traits. And that is to say that while you are under this community, I ask that you take after all of those traits, because that is where we will all have common ground. And not only that, but alongside common ground, you will also be able to walk around with an aura of nothing can take me down because you stand on solid ground. But here comes the cat. You'll have to come back in the next video to learn of these traits that will make you unstoppable to any engagement in life. Because I want to learn if you truly want a place like the one that I talk about. And you sticking around tells me all I need to know about you wanting it. Though, that is enough of this for today. But if you agree with the message and community that I will build alongside you all, I just ask that you go on X, Instagram, or any media platform and share this video with the hashtag #TheBetterGeneration. Go with power and knowledge that you are listening to the correct side of life and will be a better person for joining. But without further ado, have a good one.